science class, how do forces affect motion? That is the title for today's class. How do forces affect motion? Did you finish to write the title in your notebook? Yes. 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 Okay, let's go here. Now we're going to copy the first definition. What is force? Let's write what is force. When we move an object, we can apply a force. But what is a force? It's any push or pull an object. When you push or pull an object, you are applying force. It causes the change in motion. So if you push or pull, the object is going to move. So it's going to change the motion. It's going to move. That is force. Forces can cause objects to start moving, speeding up, they can slope down, they can stop if you move it and you stop or change direction. The forces that can be applied, it can do all these things, speed up, slope down, stop or change direction. So copy all this information in your notebook. And then we're going to see some of examples of this force. Copy yeah. this, yeah? Yes, copy this, write this. Write this in your notebook. We're going to copy like two, three. Homies. Hello. So write this force. Look at this boy. This boy is applying force to the ball. He is kicking the ball. So it means that the ball, it's not going to be in the same place. It's going to mm -hmm. move. Mm -hmm. So there is a force applied by this boy to move the object from one place to another. But in some in some time, it's going to stop. The ball is going to stop. It's not going to be moving forever and ever. You know, it's going to stop once this the force finished that it was applied to that. It's going to slow down and then it's going to stop. It's the same, for example, when you are playing uh, baseball. When you're playing baseball, I don't know if you have the opportunity to play that. Play that. So there is a ball, you have a bat, so you can with the bat a ball, so the ball is going to move. It can move from the direction that you are trying to do it. So if there is a force applied there. Neil, where is the topic? I finish. Okay, the topic, how do forces affect motions? Thank you, Santiago, you send it through the chat. I finish. I finish. How forces the affect motion? One more minute to finish. I finish. Finish. Who's missing the copy class? All of you finished the copy me, this information? No, me. 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 Me.
10 seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, two, one, zero, and zero. Okay, let's go to the next slide. So much time here. I mean, oh, okay, remember, I the force, okay, Marcelo Johnson time, you finished. Force is when you are pushing, so you are giving a force to move one object from one place to another, or you are, finish, pulling, you are pulling that object. So it causes it change motion, so it's going to move, you're going to stop or you're going to change direction like the picture that you have here as an example. Now we have more examples here. Do not copy this. We have some types of forces. Number one, it says context forces. There is an interaction between the objects that you touch. For example, human, you can touch something. So there is an interaction between you and the object that you are touching. That's why they are- You need to copy the force. Do yeah. not copy, do not copy. For example, apply force. This is one type of contact force that is an example of force. When you kick with the bat, you kick the ball. So you are using the bat. You are applying the force to the bat and the bat to the ball. So there is an apply force. There is an interaction between these objects. What about the spring force? I don't know if you have used this as a toy, as a, uh, you have in your house, one spring in your house. This is spring, if you have a spring in your, ha in your hands, you can throw the spring, so you apply the force. There is a contact between you and the spring. So the, the spring is going to be moving and moving. Or what happens if you are on stairs, if you are going upstairs or downstairs and you throw the spring, so the spring is going to be going down, down and down. So the spring is going to be moving. That is number two, it's spring force. Now we have number three that is drag force. That is another example. Look at this. This is a boy, it might be a boy with a parachute. This person, he has to apply a force. If no, the air is going to be moving. There is, this is the drag force is the same that it applies for the airplanes. The airplanes, they need to have a force when they are in the, uh, like we say in the sky. So they have to have a drag force. So there is a force that is like attracting or moving from the opposite. It's acting from the opposite to the motion. So that is a drag force. It's not, it's not moving from where the air is going. No, it's moving the opposite. So that is a drag force. What about this frictional force? When we have the frictional force, look at this. It's for example, if you have, um, you can have an eraser and you rub, there is a frictional force. You rub it in your paper, you are applying a force because we want to erase that. So there is a friction. Uh, we have normal force. Normal force is the one that we, we know that you can push or you can pull something. You can drag, you can take that something to move it from one place to another place, or you can put it that box, for example, this box. If you are going to take the box to move from one place to another, or you are going to put it there. So it's a pushing or pulling is a normal force. The one that we apply when we open the window, for example, if you open the window, you're applying a force to move that window. So there is a contact. There is a contact between you and the object. Now, what about this? This is another types of forces, non-contact forces. Non-contact forces attract or repel even from a distance. So there is no, there is no interaction between a, a you and the object. They attract or repel like the magnetic force. If you have a, a, this magnetic, they're going to repel or attract. For example, in the refrigerator. In the refrigerator, you can have many objects. You can put them and they have this magnetic, so they're going to repel or attract to the refrigerator. 
some of these like fruits or other decorations. I don't know if you have this, if you have seen one of these magnetic boards, like the, what we say in Spanish, los imanes. They can attract or they can repeal, it depends. Now, electric, electric force, it's a more not contact force. You don't have contact, you don't have to do anything. There is the electrons that are going to repeal or attract. And the other one of these non-contact forces is gravitational force. Gravitational force, it says that all the objects, they have the, uh, they tend to attract to the floor, so into the ground. So in this case, you see, this boy is sitting here down on the tree. On the tree, you see that it's an apple tree. So the apples, they are going to go to the ground. They are going to fall, fall to the crown. So it means that there is an attraction in the apple, the fruit, to the ground. That is gravitational force. It's up, so it's going to be down. Yes? Any question about uh, this, uh, some example? We have more examples, but we're going to just talk about this. Contact forces and non-contact forces. Now, we have other examples of types of forces. Look at this. There is a friction force. It's applying the friction, this, this gear to move. If not, she's not going to move. Gravity force also. It might have a parachute then, this boy, apply force, it's pushing. Drag force, it has a parachute. Drag force, it has to move. Spring force, look at this. This is the one that I was telling you, the spring. Spring is going to- Copy D. You don't have to copy glass. Spring, magnetic force, it's going to attract, for example, the nails here to the magnetic, the things that they have magnetic, so they're going to attract or repeal. Tension force, when you are pushing, uh, you are uh, pulling something, so you might be in one side and the other person the other side, so it might have a tension. There is a force applied there. And this is the last one that is brilliant force that it's applied to the balloon here. That is the force it's applied. So in this case, the balloon is going to be on the sky. Now, let's copy one of the types of force. One is force of gravity. Let's copy this. Gravity is a force that pulls any two objects toward one another, such as you toward the center of the earth. So we have this. The example of the apple tree. That is the gravity. Pulls any of the two objects toward one and more. So it's pulling the apple to the ground, to the center of the earth, to the ground. Is the same of the gravity of this picture example. Mm -hmm. The boy has a ball. Copy this. Yes, copy this. Copy this class. The mm -hmm. boy, he has the ball and if he throws the ball, the ball is going to be up, but then it's going to be down. There is a force that it's going mm -hmm. to pull that object to go to the ground. Tell me, Kelly. Mm, uh, six, six, yeah, six. He is that Newton in the the apple no no se le cae en la cabeza si no se le hubiera caído en la cabeza no no discovered the gravity o o no tuviéramos gravedad. Yes, remember that it, this was an experiment and they studied these people before a long time ago. So by this, just by checking this. O sea, pero la gravedad nunca, si no, si no lo hubiera caído en la cabeza, no se oh, hubiera caído have, la gravedad. Maybe, maybe, or maybe in, an, in another way he was going to discover this gravity. Pero en esa historia tan famosa. Mm -hmm. Finish. Ah. Finished. You can drop the apple, the apple with the tree. You can draw. I'm going to give you one minute, one more minute to draw this. So you know the example. We have one example of that. You can draw a small tree with the apple that is going down to the ground. I finish. Lucia? 
Is it's obligatory to draw. Obligatory to draw. An example, you can do it. You can do it as an example. Ah, okay. No. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance class. Anna, Andre, and Camila. Present. 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 Gabriela, Isabella, Chiara. Present. Present. Lucia, Mia, and Rebecca. Present. Present. Rosa, Valerie, and Silvia. Present. Present. Okay, all the girls. Boys, Alberto, Dani, and Fernando. Present. Present. I see. I finish. Okay. Hermes, Joshua, and Khalid. Present. Present. And Marina Lima. Marcelo, Santiago Hernandez, and Santiago Chavez. Present. Santiago Chavez, Santiago Hernandez. Yes, right. Santiago Chavez is here. Santiago Hernandez, Piaios. I don't know. It's not here. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Did you finish class to, to no. write what is favorite? No, no, me, please, no. One more minute. I finished to draw and write. Okay, Rebecca. I finished. Finished? Yes. I finish. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Too much time. Now, remember the bravery is one of the one of the fours that we're copying. Remember, if force is any push or any pull. You know, object that you can apply, or you can apply any force because they can attract or they can repel by it, by itself. So gravity is a force that pulls, so it attracts the object to one one and more. So it means that there is going to be uh, an attraction, an attraction of these objects of this matter because it's matter. Everything that is around us is matter. Now let's go here. We're going to watch a video now. I'm going to watch a video. Just let me share. Force in motion of the video. Okay. Pay attention to this video, then I'm going to be asking questions about this. In motion. Wow. Class, comments about this video. It was an interesting video. Rebecca Guillen, you are the first one. I understand on the video. Um, some the dyer can move in the in one way and other way. Mm -hmm. in one direction and other direction. Okay, what else? Thank you, Rebecca. Gabriela, tell me. There are forces that are around of me. For example, the planet. Mm -hmm. There is a force in the planet is what they are moving yes. as at the end, right? So around you right now that you are sitting, you are applying a force also. And there are forces around you. 
you are sitting, even though you are stuck, you are not moving, there is a force applied there. Excellent. What else? Who wants to participate? And Laura comment about the video class, about the nope. example. No, Mia? Nope. You don't remember anything that it was displayed in the video? Nope. No more nope. comments? Nope. nope. One, more, one more time. One more time. One more time. You want to watch the video one more time? To, you understand yes. the video? No. Yes? No. Yes. Yes. Okay, remember that at no. the end of, of the beginning, you know, yes, no. I'm going to share this video so you can watch one more time. Call it. At the beginning was the, the this elephant, this boy, that he was walking right on the, uh, here on the, in the eyes. And then it was, what happened with this? What happened in this part of the video? A la avalancha, no avalancha. There was an avalanche, that's right. And what happened with the elephant? Okay, that's right. So now you, that was an explanation, an, an example, a good example of force. There wasn't a force applied to that. That's why it happened the avalanche. So he was explaining in the video what is force. And here we have the definition it's any push or pull that is. You have in an object the interaction with one object with a north. Look at this example. Have you ever go to Ohohona? Ohohona, you can see some of this of the winds that they are. Yes. yes or no? Have you seen this? There is a force applied yes. there. If you have to go travel to Ohohona here in Honduras, right. there is a force applied to this. And he was oh. explaining that the boy, that even though they are not moving, also there is a force applied to an object. If you kick a ball when you are playing football or you play another game, uh, uh, another uh, game, yes, you another soccer, you play uh, baseball, basketball. When you kick a ball, there is a force applied that. The here was saying that the oxen pushing this and um, pulling this, um, the carriage, it, there is a force applied. There was applied. So there was the example. Most of the video was an example and the end. He was explaining why there is a force apply in this, in this example. Now, we're going to finish here times over. Remember that in science, you don't have homework this week, so we're going to stop here. Miss, only one minute. Okay, bye-bye. I don't listen to you anything.